The essence of capitalism is to turn nature into commodities and to turn commodities into capital. The life green earth is earned in nothing more than that broke rich with luxury items for the few and toxic items for the many. Where in one glittery mansion look out of the streets where in one desperate this immoralized humanity is held in captivity with the media, with drugs and with armed force. Capitalism is a foolish idea. What an astounding idea that the most wickedest of men will do the most wickedest of things for the greatest good of anybody. Think about this for a moment. That's what in America is the norm. And in a lot of Western countries that have adopted the model of capitalism, capitalism served his master. Capitalism served the rich man. Capitalism don't serve the man here. Only the one that can avoid it. Well, only the ones that been rich enough to feed the beast that being capitalism. Just like Malcolm X was have once to say, I think this is a very good one. Capitalism is like a blood sucker. It sucks and sucks for the sake of uh, sucking it. Here comes the quote. You show me a capitalist and I show you a bloodsucker. He is nothing more than a bloodsucker. You have to get it from someplace else. And this is what capitalism does. Capitalism is like one parasite, one blood sucker. It sucks and sucks and sucks and sucks. And that's only what capitalism does. And absolutely, if you use the ma look to in the media and you look a little bit out of the media as well you look to the numbers you know that the world is fucked up and that they're most likely being a group of idle elites that have many of the businesses in their hands you can call them many names, you can call them the Illuminati or you can just call them the upper 1% this upper 1% complains about a lot of billionaires and trillionaires that have been single, rich enough, in their own, rich enough to buy a whole country And they're being the true masters of capitalism. And they want you to be a consumer. Because that makes them more rich. And because that makes them more... Powerful. So, minimalism, the minimalistic mindset 
even I mean not for 100% but I try in don't, don't put things away that we can use so in a sort of way I've been a minimalist this um, shirt I have uh, on myself I have this six years and also on some parts is beginning to uh, raffling so you see here I wear all my clothing completely out just like many of my stuff I use them for the one falling hundred percent I don't buy the newest uh, Kismo or the newest uh, mobile phone because it can I also don't buy a new keyboard because it can if I have one working keyboard to work properly What you actually, where the capitalist law listens to, if you want to use the capitalists, and you want to trick them and do something good, then actually the whole society have to understand how the capitalists work, the system. Supply, demand, you be responsible for one organization, you money, is responsible to let that organization stay in life. For example, you say that you um, don't be responsible for murdering animals in concentration camps that we so euphemistically refer as uh, slaughterhouses. But you being the one that let these industries stay in life. It is your money that make the billions and billions of massacres happening. If you buy that kind of stuff. If you buy cheap clothing and not a fair trade, you paying for the uh, commodification, uh, actually, the uh, child slave labor in poor countries. It all be not so hard to understand. If we want to truly to destroy the capitalists, you have to understand it. You have to understand how the capitalists work. then destroy them. Something like seven and a half billion humans on this planet. And we have something like at least 50, uh, 150 billion innocent animal victims on this planet. Around something like, and therefore around something like um, 60 billion being lands livestock and around 19, 19 being um, marine animals do the map you don't have to be you don't have to be Einstein to figure out the conclusion humans and animals be both victims of the meat dairy neck industry in many ways I don't Go now to put out all the injustice and all the inequality and all the terrible things that the meat dairy neck industry do. But you can find it as well on the internet if you do a little bit of your research. I can also, also uh, can also say that uh, we can even feed with all the greens, all the metals, all the glucose. 
on the plant feet something like 800 billion humans there will be only around something like seven and a half billion years on the planet. So do the map. How much ground you can give back to the earth. How much species don't have to be extinct if we eat plants directly. We can only feed on this planet uh, something like so, um, two hundred thousand, uh, two billion humans on this planet on a dairy neck eating addicts diet. So, in two thousand and twelve, one group of neuroscientists have proved that the human consciousness and animal cultures being practically the same. So if you want to then say because some animals being less smart than other animals, uh, you can give some animals rights. For example, Coco, the Swan Gorilla in um, America that have an IQ of 90. So there's actually According to another link in the description below, the same IQ that the, that the majority of America humans have. So they are deserve the same rights, therefore humans have not, if you go to that criteria, uh, to cut the rainforest the way where orangs and gorillas and that kind of monkeys live. And now if we go a little bit further and we say that pigs, for example, pigs have the intelligence of um, a child of um, nine to uh, six to nine. So humans that have, when they're being adults, an IQ of six to nine, deserve not the same rights as people that have been higher in their intelligence. If you use the same kind of logic, then you have the right to kill humans with weak intelligence. If you use the same kind of logic that you use. Think for one moment, not about yourself, but think for one moment about the victims, how being innocent, how hard nobody ever in their whole life and go uh, vegan. 